Just a perfect day Drink sangria In the park And then later When it gets dark Keeping us up to date with the Sunday weather, now on BBC Two, here's David Lee. Hello, well we've seen some heavy rain across some parts of Europe. In the northeast we've had some heavy rain, but also in the south of the Mediterranean and into northern parts of Africa. Now in the last 24 hours some quite interesting areas of thunderstorms drifted their way eastwards along the north coast of Algeria and then redeveloped through Saturday afternoon, giving 30 millimetres as we went, moved into Tunisia in the afternoon. Now the satellite picture shows the areas of uh, cloud developing here through Saturday afternoon. It also shows the areas of cloud pushing their way down across Eastern Europe where we've had some fairly heavy rain in Moscow and indeed some heavy rain on the mountains and coasts of Norway. You can see the frontal systems pushing their way southeast. This one here has given the rain across Moscow. The computer gives some further showers over the next few days in this western part of the Mediterranean and you can see further frontal systems coming down from the north over Scandinavia. But the main thing that doesn't move is this area of high pressure. That's going to continue to dominate the scene from the British Isles southeastwards right through in towards the Black Sea. That zone is going to stay fine and dry with a good deal of sunshine. Temperatures are at the highest in the south and the southwest through Spain, Portugal and the western part of France. You can see also how it's quite cool through Scandinavia. Things do change a little bit over the next couple of days. The warmth pushes its way further north and northeast into Holland and Belgium and indeed into some parts of Germany. But all the time it stays cool over Scandinavia and another push of cold air comes into Moscow during Tuesday. We've got some rather chilly air at the moment across the British Isles and ground frost is likely, I think, uh, tonight across most northern parts of the country into uh, northern areas of uh, England. But further south, too much cloud and I think we'll find too much breeze as well. But on Sunday, I think temperatures are going to rise quite quickly and we could see 20, 21 degrees across some central areas, even across North Wales, where there's a shelter from that uh, rather stiffish breeze. But it's not clear everywhere to give those low temperatures. In the south and southwest, we have some areas of cloud and rain. One or two heavy bursts of rain still just about possible in the far southwest of Wales and southwest England. So still some showery outbreaks there, but elsewhere the sunshine, that's the reason the temperatures are going to rise quite quickly across most parts of the country. And even in the southwest, I think towards the end of the day, those showers will be just about on their last legs. So the high pressure holding across the British Isles, fending off any frontal systems in from the Atlantic, that one dying away, the next step pushing their way north and northeast and then plunging uh, southeast back into Scandinavia. So the high is hardly affected at all. So that means we are going to find further dry, sunny weather. Initially we're going to find that those uh, mornings are going to be a little bit on the cool side, but we will find that daytime temperatures are going to be warming up. Here are the colours across southern parts of the British Isles, the darkish oranges, but just watch over the next few days, during the, up to the middle of the week, up till Wednesday and Thursday, how the colours spread their way northwards. True, the easterly breeze may keep the eastern coast chilly even during the day, but as you can see, it's going to be a pretty fine, warm week to end September. Well, that's it from me. A very good night to you. That's all for tonight on BBC Two. Hope you've enjoyed Radio One's 30th birthday party. I think they did. Uh, for us, we'll be off for now, but we're back tomorrow. So if you're looking for something to take you through the night, don't forget that BBC Radio's 1 through to 5 will have music, news and chat to suit all tastes. From us, take care, have a great Sunday. And on behalf of the team, this is Michaela Saunders wishing you a very good night. <laughs>